What up, guys? Hey, so uh, I'm here at Walmart. I'm looking at shirts. Remember, I got that shirt. I don't know if you knew that. I had that shirt, which actually I just was reminded. I was because like, I came here. I'm like, I, I want to look at some shirts. Maybe I want to get a shirt because I have this weird. I, I like don't ever like buying clothes except for shirts. I have this weird obsession. But yeah, so I got this shirt. You guys know this. I wear it all the time. I wore it in my Coke video. Then I have this shirt, which I was just reminded of when I was here, and I'm trying to figure out what shirt I should get, but I don't know. Like, I, I just don't know. That's funny. You suck. With Stewie? Hey, Stewie. Hey. I can't do his voice. I, I, I think this is a nice looking shirt, but I just don't really care about Superman. Like, I don't know if that makes me weird, but like, I've just never cared about Superman, you know? Like, he's kind of lame. I don't know why, but he is. Batman's way cooler, even though Batman doesn't actually have superpowers. But hey, they also make better Batman movies, so get off my case. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm just chilling. I just went to the bank. This lady at the bank treated me like a complete, like, crazy person. Well, all right, I was, I was there dropping off some tips, all right, so it was cash, you know, monies, you know what I mean? And uh, she's, like, asking me all these questions. I'm like, uh, you know what? Even if I was a drug dealer, I wouldn't have to tell you. I'm not, obviously. But, you know, she's, like, acting like I'm some crazy drug dealer, like, dropping off a bunch of blood money in the bank. I'm like, girl, you don't even know what you're talking about. And besides, if I was a drug dealer, there would be tons more money than what I'm giving you. So quit acting, you know, like a crazy person. I was kind of, I was seriously kind of, like, getting mad. Like, I was like, this is kind of offensive. You're, Because she was asking me all these ridiculous questions. I'm like, you don't need to know that. It doesn't matter where I got this from. But anyways, um, yeah. Oh, that's kind of, well, I don't like all these colors, but Jimi Hendrix? Dude could rip on the guitar. Anyways, uh, how's your day going, guys? Um, I'm just, it's, it's been a pretty uneventful day. I just went and dropped a video off at my church that I made for a, a person at the church to be watched by people. And it's funny, and it's a promo video. And if I ever wear these, these, please slap me in the face, all right? Just, I actually am allowing you. If you've ever seen me in these, you have permission to travel to Kansas City, find me, hunt me down, um, and just smack me clean on the face. So, yeah. <laughs> This guy, he, he thinks I'm crazy. Anyways, what was I saying? Was there a point to this? No, there never is. Remember that, Austin. Remember that there's never a point to these. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, so, yeah, so you want to help us out some? You want to help us out and be, like, super naive and stuff? So, uh, YouTube. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's this site. Uh, people put up videos on it. Kind of a cool deal. Sometimes it's kind of crazy. Uh, but, yeah, they're doing this thing. Last year around this time, they did what's called the Next Up program where they allowed people to submit um, to be like next up, like they would win you know, money, promotion, all this jazz. And uh, they're doing a thing now called Next Vlogger, all right? And what you do is you just submit, I think you have to have like at least 5,000 subscribers, which is boss, because we just barely hit that. But um, yeah, you submit, and then YouTube is gonna pick 16 people to be next vloggers. Like, we'll get money and promotion and equipment, and it'll be great, like it'll really help us out. So I entered into it, and uh, it's all up to YouTube to just pick. Like they just, they're just gonna pick who they think is a promising vlogger. So if you guys, I mean, you guys obviously love the vlogs because, you know, <laughs> not that I'm complaining, but like every video that actually takes time and effort and like looks good by the end, you guys don't watch as much <laughs> as you watch the vlogs. So you guys love the vlogs, right? So, and me and Britt, we're about to start doing a lot more vlogs um, because she's about to be done with work and then we're just gonna start making more videos. Like, I don't know, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. Let, let me just be real. Let me just, let me talk to you for a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to find a place where I don't scare people away. Anyways, um, me and Britt, we've been talking. We're like, hey, Austin, you've been looking for a job for like a year now, right? And if you bought that, you might have a better chance. Like if you brought your resume to people and that, you might have a better chance of getting a job, but you haven't done that yet. So no one has given you a job. You love making YouTube videos, and your wife loves it too. Why not try and be full-time YouTubers? Which has like always been something I've wanted to do. But me and Brett have just been talking recently, we're like, that would be really awesome. Like, because we're both passionate about it. And it's like, it's something that, I mean, right now we make three videos a week, right? It probably takes me a lot of times, like between filming, editing, and everything. I mean, it probably takes about 20 hours a week. So it's already like a little part-time job. So why not make it a full-time thing? Like, I'd love to be able to grow our audience and be able to have, uh, you know, the amount of views to make enough money to be able to live off of YouTube. Like, I'd love to work 40, 50, 60 hours a week just making videos for you guys. Like, that would be awesome. So that's something we've been talking about, like, we'd love to do. And 
this next vlogger thing could really help. So if you guys would love to see, you know, I, I know I've said I wouldn't do this in the past, but you know, I was talking to Britt and I was like, hey, maybe we should, but like, would you want to see like maybe five vlogs a week and then two other videos to film the other days? I mean, you guys, you guys could get down with that. I know you would. I know you want to. You're, you're already smacking me a high five right now. So yeah, I mean, here's the thing. If you want to help us out, uh, you can support us by clicking, there's a link below, you can tweet. Click the link and it'll tweet out a link uh, saying, hey, pick the Nive Knowles to be part of next vlogger, all right? Or you can uh, go down to the individuals down below. Uh, it's a guy named Bing Chen, I think, and uh, Margaret Healy, and then the YouTube partner's Twitter. And you can tweet all of those and just tell them, hey, at the Nive Knowles, you should definitely pick them to be on next vlogger. They really are passionate about it and they'd be great at it. So if you guys want to do that and be super knife, I'll give you all a high five. And I gotta go because we have six minutes. Talk to you later. I love your faces. Bye.